Alright guys, Touch Cover here today and this is a video I didn't think I'd be making this soon. CWR Las Vegas is barely a week ago and we already have a lot of roster changes potentially on the cards here. Some of them are almost certain to occur, but I'll go through all the rumours today. Gonna title this Roster Mania Rumours, probably just gonna be a one-off video, but you know, that was the se that was the series that kind of kick-started my channel back in the summer season a couple of months ago now. So I thought I'd make this, maybe there's more following up in the future. But anyway, so these are the Roster Mania Rumours as of of today for the Pro League qualifier in January. So I'll just have a quick run through the season. I was going to do a separate video on this. Maybe there's not enough content to do an entire video on, but basically, January 16th through 20th, the teams that came 4th through 32nd at CWL Las Vegas are eligible for this tournament. The top four, that being, of course, Optic Gaming, E United, Splice, and Luminosity, they are already qualified for the Pro League. Every other team has to get through this qualifier in January. And it was tweeted out by Adam Apicella that anyone turning 18 before January 2nd, which is the roster lock, will be eligible, which will be important as this video continues forward. And this is the crucial line. Teams must maintain three out of five of their qualifying Vegas roster into the Pro League qualifier. So there's some queries about whether this is a good decision or a bad decision. It definitely allows teams to make changes and make sure they can improve before the qualifier. But at the same time, some of the low tier teams, like people have played out of their skins to manage to get top 32 to qualify for the Pro League qualifier. And then they can just get dropped off the team and never have the opportunity. So maybe I'll make a separate video on that, I don't know. A lot of content going to be coming over the next couple of weeks because I'm back from university as you can tell by the change of scenery in the background. So some of you guys might say this isn't roster mania, not too many changes, but then again if we look through the participants for this play in tournament, these are the ones. So 5th through 6th Vegas, Team Sweden, Lightning Panda, Space League, EG, Rest Bossy, Red Reserve. You know, all these guys are going to be here. And a fair few of these teams are going to be making roster changes, I have no doubt in my mind. Pretty much all of these top ones should be maintaining. But the Pittsburgh Knights, G2 Esports and FaZe Clan is what we're really going to be focusing on today. I'm sure the ones further down will also have consideration. Probably the APAC guys won't do much and maybe the European teams won't change too much. But MHP Esports here, they've already made a roster change. As you can see here, Destiny, Vicious, Noobs, Supreme Agility, and Dylan Rex. Can't say I've heard too many of these guys apart from, okay, Destiny, Supreme Agility, of course, I've heard of, and Dylan Rex, but this is the squad. And yeah, the team has changed hands. If you guys are a fan of these players, I thought I'd point it out regardless. Let's have a look at the actual Roster Mania rumors. So, there was a CMG Pro Down yesterday, and I will go through the results of this as is tradition in tomorrow's video, probably go through the 2Ks, and also the results of the CMG Pro Down because there was some interesting drama actually last night between Optic Gaming and Reciprocity, but I won't go into that today. And yeah, so these are the teams that were participating in it. Some guys played in the 2K, some guys played in this. We look through all of the rosters here. Okay, 100 Thieves is the same team. Uh, Luminosity, obviously they have to stick because they're going into the Pro League. They can make roster changes probably, I don't know how many weeks into the Pro League, but there's they said that there's going to be windows for roster changes throughout the Pro League. Maybe two windows, maybe three windows, who knows. But they effectively have to stick until at least, I would say, the end of January, if not the start of February, because they came top four at Vegas, which could could even be a negative in the long run for the start of their Pro League campaign, considering people don't really seem to rate this team. They did show a lot of promise towards the end of Las Vegas, even though they did lose to Reunited in the end. Optic, of course, you know, why would they ever change? Teddy Rex's team, Spice aren't going to change. Envy haven't changed yet, even though some people are suspecting these guys could need a roster change. I'm going to do a video in a couple of days' time on Envy and 100 Thieves especially, maybe some other teams as well the poor results they have at Vegas and whether I feel like they need a roster change and I'm sure that'd be an interesting one for you guys to discuss in the comments below when the time comes. Space Lee's team very unlikely to change. Showed a lot of promise. Uh, SZN which is uh, Illy, Abizi. Okay, Abizi was playing. Oh, Shotzi was playing on nice team. That's kind of exciting. But anyway, these are like young superstars. Abizi obviously now is on the United. Illy is a couple years away still from competing. And the, those guys, the E United Cadets, I don't know if you remember this, but EU picked up Illy, Simp the Sick Joke, uh, Turn Up Too Easy, and Cillium a couple of years ago, back in almost Black Ops 3 time, I think it is now, or Early Infinite Warfare or something like that, picked up those four guys. And finally, one of them is going to get their chance on a top team, it seems, with Cillium going to Face Clan. We'll discuss that in just a second. So Reciprocity definitely not going to change, and UYU as well. I don't see many rumors there. But let's go through the teams that I do think are somewhat likely to change. 
Uh, Evil Geniuses, first of all, for Sento was filling in for Saints. I believe Saints was playing this and maybe had to go somewhere or something like that. I'm almost certain this is a pickup and this isn't what the squad is going to look like. But why was Facento not playing with his team on G2? That's definitely the big question. Look at the G2 roster. This is what they were playing with in the CMG tournament yesterday and it pretty much means there should be no reason that this shouldn't be the actual team they're looking at for the upcoming tournaments considering why would you play with a team different to what you're expecting to play in especially when you have you know less than a month towards the pro league and why would you not make roster changes as quickly as possible so i'm relatively sure these are going to be the rosters we're looking at but yeah we'll go through this a little bit more in a second so g2 was of course blast chino decimate Ricky and Facento. It very much seems that Ricky and Facento are off the team. Facento will not be going to Evil Geniuses as far as I understand. He'll be going to another team that we'll talk about in just a second. Lacefield and Methods will be coming in. I don't want to go too much into depth talking about what I think about these rosters. Considering they haven't been officially announced yet and when they are announced then I can talk about what I think about whether this is a good change or a bad change or anything but feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below if you have any interesting ones. So Lacefield comes off Parasite's team. Let's just have a look here at the Pittsburgh Knights. So this was the squad from Las Vegas that qualified for the play-in, of course. They come top 16 at Vegas. Parasite and Lacefield were actually going off. And it very much seems like with Lacefield going over to G2, Panda, GodRx and Parasite will be staying on this team. And it seems like Theory may also be going as well. So we just look at some of the swaps we see here. The center and Ricky are going to be off the team, off G2. Lacefield is going to come in, as is Methods over here from Face Clan. Kind of convenient, these guys are all next to each other. Methods looks like he's going to G2 along with Lacefield. Theory may well be out the door completely, considering he really didn't have a good showing at Vegas by any means. And a large reason he was on that team is to have the pro points so they got a good standing, because obviously Theory won two events last year. It now seems like there's not as much reason to keep him, especially when he was underperforming at Vegas, as far as I could tell. So he's going to be off the team. Who are they going to bring in instead? It looks like they're going to bring in Facento and Ricky from G2. So we get a little bit of a swapsy between these teams. Ricky and Facento going over to Pittsburgh Knights instead of Theory and Lacefield. Now, we're not sure yet whether Ricky is going to be on this team. It seems very likely that Facento is going to go over to the Knights, but we're not sure about Ricky because Ricky did tweet this in a tough situation now. Okay, we don't know exactly what this means, but there was a couple things being said about these teams that were in the 2K. So as you can see, the Orlando Reapers, which is Miracle's team, Ricky was actually playing in that. Now, I don't know how much of this is just a pickup squad considering Twiz I thought was on Killer's team maybe things have changed around here but Ricky ends up being on this squad and on this team which Parasite was playing in Parasite Theory Gorgo Colchan Swally obviously this is a pickup team but some people were saying that Parasite is really good friends with Gorgo or Gorgio I don't exactly know how it's pronounced and his name also has Knight in it so who knows maybe the Pittsburgh Knights would be a good home for him but a lot of people are saying Parasite Panda God RX joined by Facento and then either Ricky or even this Gorgo guy. I would say Ricky is more likely, but yeah, probably a bit of a swap between G2 and Pittsburgh Knights here. Now Lacefield comes into G2 and also Methods, as I said, from Phase Clown, which leaves one spot available and that's going to be Cilium. So many people have talked about this. This is an article from George on Rushby Media. Selium set to replace Methods on FaZe Clan. It seems very likely this is to be the case. Selium is going to replace Methods, it seems. People don't even know Selium's name. But what I do know about him is he's pretty much been an assault rifle player. I remember watching him on Black Ops 3 playing 1v1 tournaments against... I remember one against Mochilla and he just destroyed him. Like, he'd, he would... Selium would take 1v1 chals on Black Ops 3 Hardpoint and just destroy pros. And Mochilla was calling in the help of formal to even take this guy down he's been an assault rifle player pretty much he can definitely use any weapon but him replacing methods makes a lot of sense on this team in terms of the assault rifle situation i believe Cilium is using a maddox kind of has a very similar playstyle to dashi i would say an incredible gun skill so it's a very interesting move i want to talk a little bit more about it as and when it is announced but for now this is the rumor attach Cilium, zuma crowder formerly replays and Priester, of course, on this team. So that's what it's looking like going into the Pro League qualifier in January. Maybe there'll be some more rumors down the line that we can talk about. I found this exchange between Clayster and Nameless kind of interesting as well. Back in the day, you had to prove yourself before getting on a tier one organ playing with elite players. Nowadays, you just have to be able to fry online and be available. 
And, you know, Clayster kind of agrees with this guy. I had to team with 15, 16 year olds even after I'd established myself. Guess it's just the state of the scene right now. Wish I could have come into a T1 org making racks off the rip. I had to win seven tournaments to get 500 a month. It seems very obvious they're talking about Cilium to FaZe Clan here. So just another confirmation this is very, very likely to be the case in the coming days. One thing to note, Cilium turns 18 on the 24th of December. So that's why he hasn't been competing in the past. Just turns 18 the day before Christmas or Boxing Day, at least is what we call it in the UK, which means that he will be eligible, as we saw with that Adam Acapella's tweet, Acapella, Apicella's tweet uh, on January the 2nd. So Cillian will be available. Simp turns 18 in February. So I believe maybe he'll be able to come in for the Pro League. Maybe he can get a roster change or something during the Pro League. And yeah, then next year, maybe we'll be able to see Illy in action as well. All of those E-United cadets finally coming to the fore. So yeah, it seems like an exciting move, at least for FaZe Clan, and some interesting changes as well. Will these make G2 or the Pittsburgh Knights more competitive as time goes forward and increase their chances of getting into that all-important Pro League? Because let's not forget, we're preparing for franchising this in this season, and if you don't get into the Pro League, or at least if your organization doesn't get into the Pro League, your org is out of the Pro League for the rest of the season. You as a player can potentially get picked up, but, you know, it's a very difficult scenario. Getting in the Pro League this year is an absolute must if you want to do something and have good practice, especially looking towards the end of the year with champs, etc., etc. If you're not in the Pro League, you're not going to have that much great practice at all, and it's really going to send your year on a downward spiral. So, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and if you think I've earned it, of course. And yeah, more videos over the coming days. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and... I'll see you next time.